Well, what's very important for me is not just to create one thing and repeat it, and it's imperative to consider the location. I develop something for a particular landscape or a special situation and put it into action. I'd been invited to Helgoland to develop an idea for a project. I came near these cliffs and heard the screeching seagulls. This was a fantastic sound. The cliffs provide such resonance, such reverberation. This was an absolutely terrific location. So it didn't take me too much time to decide what sound should I choose. I figured there's only one possibility other than bells here, and that's the organ. There might only be one or two people on Helgoland who play an instrument, but the biggest instrument on Helgoland, well, there's certainly not an orchestra here, but there must be an organ. The idea of illuminating the coast came out of necessity, because the whole performance would be taking place in the evening. And I thought it would be extremely impressive to see the cliffs illuminated, which presumably had never been done before. Then the idea came to me, to simply let the sounds wander along the coast. So just like the birds flying by, you hear the sounds coming near and then departing again. And the cliffs contributed wonderfully. The sound reflected off the rocks and then off the water so that you had a sense that the sea was singing, that the sea was awash in sounds.